Hello, uh, my name is SC19 Delta, or my channel name is, and I'm going to show you how I optimize my games or tweak them in order to make them run as optimally and very well, or as, as well as they can possibly run. So that means very solid lock 60, all of that sort of good stuff. Making sure these, uh, all the screen turns gone, all of that sort of stuff. Mostly for games that are not done well in that sort of aspect, like GTA San Andreas. So that's the game I'm going to be testing. And software that we're going to use, I'm going to use, is uh, MSI Afterburner. Except um, the program that I'm really going to use is Rivatuner, which comes with MSI Afterburner. So if you wanted to replicate this, I would recommend installing MSI Afterburner. And once it, uh, you're installing it, 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 it asks. If you want to also install River Tuner, say yes to that because that is the software that you want to use for this. So, in GTA San Five, G no, in GTA San Andreas, um, as I'm gonna load it up right here, there is a frame limiter inside of it that causes the game to run at a 26 frames per second rather than 30 frames per second or something similar to that. And that's not the best you can play this game at so what I'm gonna do so as you can see in, in the frame rate counter over there it shows 26 frames per second and the frame time is just all out of messed up and the GPU you see the GPU percentage is obviously not at its fullest percentage so here I'm gonna show you how to and when you do unlock it unlock the frame limiter it yeah, it works and all that, but since this game doesn't have any VSync whatsoever, there's tons of screen time. So as you can see, yeah, CG is just spazzing out right there, and that of course isn't good. And you can, we can, like, we can make this better. So sorry for the stretch image. That's as best as I can do with it for this video. But what we're gonna do is that so this is River Tuner software. Is that we're gonna need Nvidia Control Panel. And this is mainly for NVIDIA uh, GPUs, so sorry if you have an AMD GPU. There's probably something similar to this with an AMG control panel. Uh, but right now I'm going to be using NVIDIA's control panel. So you need to go to Manage 3D Settings, right? Go to Program Settings. And in the Program Settings, it's going to show, usually it shows a different game, and it's going to take a while for the program to come up. but uh, if it doesn't show right here, you usually just select it, the game out of this uh, bar right here. Or if it doesn't show up, you would select Add. And if you just open up the game recently, it would show the recent, most recent applications that you used. So with GTA San Andreas, you would need to go down to, f to fix a screen tearing and all that biggest issue. You would need to use VSync. So since my computer can run it at a very high, uh, much higher frame rates than 60 FPS, I'm going to use a double buffer VSync because it is, it works a lot better than, it has lower latency than a triple buffer VSync. And since the, I'm, I highly doubt that the frame is going to drop below 60, it's not going to drop down to 30 because that's how double buffer VSync works. So in order to do that, you would need to select VSync normally and then select triple buffering off and that will give you a double buffer vSync. There's also fast sync, which is also a solution to this, but that's, I don't, since I'm just gonna be using controller, I don't wanna worry about the stability issues. So then you would just apply it right there. And for some people who haven't used this before, uh, you would have to select a different option in order to force uh, these options onto the game. And I think, yeah, it is, you would need to go to adjust image settings with preview and you would need to select use advanced 3D image settings in order to force whatever options the managed 3D settings have. So now that we could just close out of that, uh, with River Tuner, you can select which game you want to use. For example, uh, I already have GTA San Andreas selected, and if you don't see your game selected here, it usually it's very hard to find it, and I highly doubt that you will, so I would recommend just selecting the plus button and choosing where you want to find whatever program you want to find. and in here, you would just select uh, for frame rate f limit. Although it the game sticks to 60 when you have at VSync, sometimes the frame time might fluctuate a little bit, and so it could cause 
it could possibly cause frame time issues. So what I'm going to do is just lock it at 60, even though the game's going to run at 60, just in case. And as I pop back into GTA San Andreas, it will lock the frame rate at 60 with the V-Sync, double buffer V-Sync solution. And the frame time will be locked, which should get a very solid 60 FPS. And you can also use River Tuner to lock it at a very solid 30 FPS if you wish. But for GTA San Andreas, that's not really necessary. For something like Assassin's Creed Unity, where maybe your CPU isn't powerful enough to handle 60 FPS constantly, then yes, I would. Uh, 30 FPS would be a better solution. So as you can see right now, screen tearing is completely eliminated. Solid 60 FPS. It runs very well. Just very, very well. It stays at that 60 for almost, out of my testing, completely solid. And I have a GTX 970 and an i5 40-something something. I forgot what processor I have. But yes, uh, this is how and for the river for river tuner it also shows the frame rate counter as you can see in the top left corner which shows i set it up to show my gpu usage percentage as well as how much vram i'm using and frame rate as well as frame time and how much uh each core of my cpu is being used just to make sure my cpu isn't bottlenecked for every game i'm using it helps me figure out if the game is unoptimized by how the cpu is completely not bottlenecked over my GPU and it just tells me whether or not I should be trying to aim for 60 or not because you know my CPU could be it better pick up around here like soon that. but yeah this is how I usually optimize most of my games and tweak them to make them as solid as possible so if you enjoyed uh, click like I guess I've never done this before so if you uh, didn't like it and if you thought I could have done better maybe comment down below and give criticism and I hope this was helpful to anyone who thought this was interesting so I hope you enjoyed